says you can't have it all? Not Appalachian Wireless. We know what you want. Appalachian Wireless offers the hottest smartphones and unlimited data plans, all on the region's number one network. Just a day after being appointed to the position, Pike County Treasurer Frankie Stacy says the work to clean up the county's financial situation is underway. And that work will consist of long hours and late nights. Pike County Treasurer Frankie Stacy said the staff members in the county's finance department are working to reconcile nine months worth of financials. And they have about two weeks in which to complete it. We're just trying to have to make time. Stacy was appointed as County Treasurer Wednesday, succeeding longtime Treasurer John DeBilder, who resigned and retired Tuesday. Stacy says the Finance Department must reconcile the county's 2017 finances in order to have a budget approved by the Department of Local Government for the 2018-19 fiscal year. That task, he said, is a bit daunting. We're concentrating on that because that's what we have to get in to get our budget approved. Uh, and that's why we're on that time crunch there for the first three quarters financials for this year, Frankfurt and the Department of Local Government has to sign off on it, you know, uh, but without submitted financial statements for this fiscal year, they're not going to. Stacy said the county's budget totals about $36 million with only about $10 million in discretionary funds available. Of that $10 million, about $3.6 million comes from the county's occupational and net profits taxes, which is budgeted into the 2018-19 draft budget. Officials have, in the past months, proposed repealing those taxes. Pike Deputy Judge Executive Herbie Deskins said Wednesday that proposal could still be on the table. We're going to try to give our employees a 5% raise and also uh, look at uh, maybe removing the occupational tax. But, but the county is solvent. It just has a problem now. But Stacy, echoing comments from his predecessor, said he does not believe the county can balance its budget without those occupational and net profits tax funds. As far as the consistent revenue that the county has, the occupational and net profit tax is one of, one of the few consistent quarterly revenues that they can depend on. Stacy said, however, he believes the finance department can get the financial ship righted by the DLG's June 30th and July 15th budget deadlines. You know, it's not just me. A lot of people stepped up to, uh, to help get this caught up. At the Pike County Courthouse, Chris Anderson, EKB News.